Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about um, a pretty sick, a pretty sick story. Um, you can read right here. Mom of boy stuffed inside. Welcome to Las Vegas suitcase. Tells judge she's been tracked by Space Force in wild-eyed first court appearance after two years on the run and... You guessed it, it wouldn't be on this show if it didn't have a sovereign citizen element to it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share. It's a free way to support this show. It really, really helps me out. More sub subscribers, more views, more incentive I have to continue to make more episodes of this channel. We serve an important function as a watchdog for sovereign citizens who are, as you all know, um, extremely dangerous, and it's also a movement that's growing. So I see this channel as a force that counteracts their force. Um, you also think about buying my book. There is a link in the description below. I got another channel, Libertarian Front. Check that out where I talk about politics. Now raise your cup, your glass in the air. It's 8.30 on a Sunday. Joe's drinking water. What are you drinking? It's hot outside in Pittsburgh. Well, not hot, but warm. And I just went for a walk, so I need to cool down. Dejon Anderson, 38, made the wild claims during a Tuesday court appearance. This is from uh, April 3rd, so this was last week. She was cuffed just two weeks ago in California after nearly two years on the run. That was after her son, Cairo Jordan V, was uh, Cairo Jordan, five years old, was found dead in woods in rural Indiana. Let's dive into this article. A woman charged in the death of her five-year-old son whose body was found stuffed in a suitcase has appeared before a judge for the first time since her arrest. Dijon Anderson, 38, made several wild claims during the Tuesday appearance in southern Indiana, including that she was a sovereign citizen. Big surprise, because, you know, everybody who uh, is going to jail the rest of their lives thinks the sovereign citizenship is their, their key to freedom. They got something else coming. Is part of several other investigations, and she is she believes she is, in fact, a princess. The claims, which include that she's being tracked by the United States Space Force, raise doubts whether or not she can stand trial. So what a judge can do is can order a competency evaluation. And let's see this video. Well, not this video, um, but I do believe there is a video. We'll watch that video in a second. Okay, there's the there's the uh, very cute little boy. Um, she was cuffed just two weeks ago, found in California after some two years on the run. That came after five-year-old Cairo Jordan was found dead inside a suitcase in woods in rural Washington County, sparking a search for Anderson, who is now charged with murder, neglect of a dependent, and obstruction of justice. This is a photo of Ms. Anderson. Uh, this is a photo of uh, the poor child, five-year-old uh, Cairo Jordan, um, found in a suitcase. Uh, let's take a look at this video. Uh, well, it's 13 minutes long. Here she is coming into court. Brought in by the sheriff's deputies. Calls number 88C01-22TF-F1-833, State of Indiana versus DeJohn Anderson. Ms. Anderson, for the record, would you state your full name, please? Yes, I am Princess Khalifia Hatan Tupac Bay II, representing the entity Dejon Anderson. You're known as Dejon Anderson? I represent the entity as Dejon Anderson. Your date of birth? My date of birth is February 2nd, 1961. That would make you how old? That would make me 63 years old. And the last four digits, your social security number? I do not have a social security number. I have a declaration of nationality underneath the Washita Morris of the Indigenous People of the United Nations, Chapter 2215-93. You have a social security number. What's your address? My address is... That's really loud and annoying. You have a good contact telephone number? The individual. Um, I don't know my contact number by heart. The I settler. 
Are you under the influence of any drugs, including alcohol today? No, I'm not. The sovereign Three citizenship it is a mental illness. Say something you don't understand. Will you let me know? I will most definitely will. Sanderson. Officer Busick, who's investigated this, looked for you for the past two years. And Prosecutor Hunt have charged you with three count, counts of criminal conduct. Count one is murder as a felony. Would indicate that between April the 10th, 2022, and April the 16th, 2022, in Washington County, state of Indiana, you did knowingly or intentionally kill another human being, that being child victim number one. <clears throat> Contrary to the form of the statute, such cases made and provided by Indiana Code 35 42 1 1 parentheses 1 and against the peace and dignity of the state of Indiana. Count 2 Neglect of a dependent resulting in death as a level 1 felony would indicate between December the 1st, 2021 and April the 16th, 2022, in Washington County, state of Indiana, you, being at, late, at least 18 years of age and having the care of child victim one, a dependent, less than 14 years of age, did knowingly place said dependent in a situation that endangered the dependent's life or document or thing with 55 years and up to a $10,000 fine. I do understand. Okay. And do you understand the potential penalties? I do. Do you intend to hire a lawyer? Or is someone likely to hire a lawyer for you? Uh, I want to file a motion for self-representation. Smart move. You understand if you do that, you are required to conduct yourself as a lawyer to be able to uh, board our um, potential jurors to abide by the rules of evidence, to abide by the rules of procedure. I do understand. I have a master's in history. That doesn't give you a law degree, though. But I do understand how to read procedures and understand right. the court procedures. All right. Just because, uh, just because you represent yourself, that's, that doesn't make, doesn't ensure yourself of a good lawyer, you know. That's a personal opinion, but I understand. Make your make your request in writing, okay? I will most definitely. Uh, yeah. Can you give me at least just like five days and I can get it I to you? Can it'll, certainly give it'll you five come days with a you. lot of other nonsense too, probably. Let me ask. I'm representing the entity entity of Dejon Anderson. She said, wide-eyed and smiling. My name is Princess Khalif Kalfia Atante Pape the second, representing the entity. Are you the individual, the settler, and the corporation? Are you? Are you? And the man? The jurist went on to ask if her decision was because she couldn't afford a lawyer, to which she responded, I could. It's not that I can't afford a lawyer, she said, during what amounted to a 15-minute hearing. I understand the nature of my case, and I understand this is my life on the line. As for her date of birth, Anderson claimed to be over 60, telling the jurist, my date of birth is February 2nd, 1961. That would make you how old? She said 63 years old. That is very interesting. Um, you know, but if she's a princess, I guess uh, maybe she is. When asked for the last four digits of her social security number, Anderson said she didn't have one. Another erroneous claim. Uh, this is all in line with uh, your typical sovereign citizenship. Um, Anderson is accused into this of packing her son's body into this suitcase before dumping it in a wooded area. Instead, she recited a United Nations declaration before again asking to represent herself in upcoming proceedings. Proceedings. I do not have a social security number. I have a declaration of nationality. She then claimed a Space Force military detail has been following her every move. An assertion offered in the form of a formal objection. Um, that is wild. That is wild. Now, I've, I don't think she has schizophrenia. And so if she doesn't have schizophrenia, she's suffering from another brain disease, a brain disease called sovereign citizenship. 
I've been under NSA surveillance for the past eight months. How can that qualify me as a fugitive on the run when I've also had a detail from Space Force that was following my every move? Oh, man, these people. Wow. I mean, hey, you know, you, you killed your own son, so I can understand being severely mentally ill. Before she could finish, a visibly fed up Medlock cut her off before explaining how her argument is a valid legal objection. If you want to represent yourself, you're going to have to learn the rules of evidence, the rules of procedure. Um, uh, run, when I've also had a detail from Space Force that was following my every move, when I contacted right. the Indiana State well, to let me arrest tell you, me. That is not a valid legal objection. If you want to represent yourself, you're going to have to learn the rules of evidence and the rules of procedure because if you conduct yourself like... If she brings up Space Force at the trial, boy, she's done. She is over. Um... I mean, she's probably over anyway. Because if you conduct yourself like this and make these types of obje objections, you have no chance in the world, lady. By the end of the 15 minutes, Medlock appeared to have had enough. He ultimately decided to hold Anderson in a Washington County jail without bond, upholding prosecutors' previous demands. As he delivered that decision, he appeared to offer a slight dig at the accused, telling her, if Space Force comes forward and tells me they're willing to monitor you, we'll take up the issue of bond at a <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Before she could be taken out of the courtroom, though, he stopped her and ordered a public defender to be assigned to her case, insisting it was just in case she fails to demonstrate the cognizance to be her own counsel. We, you, can, you can have standby counsel as well when you're pro se so that the, the pro se individual can like ask the lawyer questions. If she files a written request that demonstrates she has the ability to understand, comprehend, and represent herself, I may ask them to withdraw or no longer require their services. But I think it's appropriate that someone from the public defender's office be assigned at this time. Anderson was arrested Thursday in Arcadia, California on a murder warrant. Police said ISP received information from a concerned citizen that led to her arrest, during which U.S. Marshals identified Anderson as she was boarding a public transit train. Her son Cairo was found stuffed inside a Welcome to Las Vegas suitcase almost two months or two years earlier on April 1st, 2022. It's, um, it's, un, it's unspeakable. Though this has, um, this has, this reminds me a little bit of Casey Anthony, right? Um, the body was found inside trash bags, stuffed inside a suitcase, and dumped in the woods, eventually leading cops to Anderson's accomplice, Don Coleman, who in November received a sentence of 30 years with five years of suspended probation. She was charged with aiding, inducing, or causing murder, neglect of a dependent, resulting in death, and obstruction of justice. So that woman is likely the primary witness against, um, against this woman. Both women posted extensively to social media referencing demons and exorcism, with Anderson even reaching out to Friar Vincent Lamper, priest for the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, to tell him that her son was possessed. Holy cow! I have survived the death attacks from my five-year-old throughout the five years he has been alive. I've been able to weaken his powers through our blood. I have his real name and he is 100 years old. Need us. Oh my God, this is, this is wild. Uh, as part of the plea deal, Coleman, who billed herself as a spiritual healer on social media by the name of Mama God, admitted to walking into a bedroom of Anderson's home where she witnessed the mom lying on top of her son who was face down to the bed with his face into the mattress. Coleman told police it was already done when she walked in and that Anderson only asked her to help put Cairo in a trash bag and then into the suitcase. Wow. Prosecutors said the two women then drove to an area outside of Pekin and dumped the suitcase roughly a week before it was found by a local mushroom hunter. Hey, those mushroom hunters. All right. Good work, sir. An autopsy or ma'am. An autopsy found that Cairo died from vomiting and diarrhea that led to his dehydration, confirming the body had died about a week or less before the hunter discovered his body. The hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Appearing in the same Washington Circuit Court in Salem, Indiana, Anderson was extradited. Coleman pled guilty as part of a plea bargain. You packaged Cairo like trash. He was an innocent little boy who wanted to be loved. Sovereign citizens, the defense Anderson on Tuesday turned to, do not believe they are bound by federal or state law or have to comply with any type of law enforcement. Many often do not believe they are required to pay taxes. The FBI considers the group to be an extremist organization. 
Uh, yes, they do. And then a little bit of information about um, about about uh, sovereign citizens here. Um, boy, this is sad. This is very sad. Uh, very sad situation. This woman obviously had a lot of uh, extremely false and dangerous beliefs. And they often go hand in hand with sovereign citizens. So we'll keep track of this trial. She appears to be headed down another road like Daryl Brooks, where she's going to present a sovereign citizen slash space force slash NSA slash possessed by a demon defense. And uh, the possessed by a demon defense has been used before in American court system to um, almost no success at all. No success at all. Um, so, uh, thank you everybody for tuning into the common sense Academy. A very sad, very sad situation. You can watch the entire video on the link in the daily mail. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we're going to follow this more closely. Uh, let's do what we can to, you know, let's do what we can to, to debunk this sovereign citizen movement. Please like subscribe, comment, share, buy my book. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.